Oh, welcome to the cooking dinner, y'all. Man, today we're going to try to find out a secret. A real secret because, see, I had a couple of people that on my YouTube page, they was like, uh, cooking general, man, we like chili. It's getting cold winter time. I'm like, okay, I want to do a chili recipe, but I had a secret recipe, kind of like my grandfather had a secret recipe that I didn't want to tell nobody. But Carol and uh, Raquel, they asked, he's like, well, come on, just give us something quick. We don't want nothing sophisticated. And I'm like, okay, I can do it without getting y'all my recipe. And I don't even know my grandfather's recipe because he won't give it to me. I asked him for a recipe for some chili for two pounds of ground meat. He just sent me the season, but he don't know I'm the cook in general. I know about 50, 60 recipes for chili. But you want a simple recipe? So, okay, no, I know you ain't looking for that there. Okay, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Come on, let me show you what you're going to have to put into it now. This is what I think he do. Now, I know most people use Rotel, but I think he used fire roasted diced tomatoes. He used a can of tomato sauce. I know he used butter, garlic onions, and bell pepper. Now, he used a secret. Now, we use a with crackers and cheese, but this is here, and I got a taste. And what I think, I can taste the chili powder in there. I know he got chili powder, no doubt about it. But I taste a little paprika and a little red pepper in there. And also, some salt. And a little cummins or oregano. I know, and probably a couple more ingredients. I can't quite figure them out right now, but I'm going to figure it out. But anyway, we're going to do this here. He won't tell me the secret, but he want me to keep his animal, keep his pet. And I got to do everything for him, but he won't give me the secret to this chili recipe that everybody loves. So, let's put this stuff together. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use ground meat, a pound of ground meat, and a pound of chili meat. And we're going to spank them right there. So, let's get ready. Hey, okay, let me feed this. Hey, kitty, 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 kitty. Get you catch some of this. Kitty, kitty. There you go, fella. Welcome back to the cooking general. Man, that dang cat can eat a lot. But check this out here, man. My grandfather won't tell me his chili recipe, but I guarantee y'all, when I do the recipe, I'm going to do my chili recipe. And I'm going to show y'all how to really make chili. It's going to be a little bit harder and a little bit longer. But it's going to be the bomb. But his chili is the bomb too. But it's just a quick way to doing it. But I think I got it. Come in, let me show you. Now, I got this garlic, onion, and bell pepper. See that? I got it all sauteed in that butter. Now, I mix ground meat. He always take a pound of ground meat. And he always take a pound of chili meat. He always told me. Use two kinds of meat. You never want to put all your meat in one hole. I mean, in one bowl, 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 bowl. And, um, and we're gonna um, put this in there like that. Ugh. Get out of there. Come on out of there. All right. Now, now get it all out of there. Now, this is the stranger man sent me his seasoning, but I figure most of them out. But I'm gonna show y'all all my secrets. And I'm just going to dump it in there. Stir that up. Now, I know he had fire roast tomatoes because I can taste them all day long. He don't use Rotel. I do know that. But you can use Rotel. And I know you use tomato sauce. Now, stay right there. And I'm going to put some water in the can because you know I ain't going to let nothing go to waste. And besides, you need that little water too for that juice. And you want to get all that juice out of there. All right, okay, let's stir this bad boy up. Now, with these chili recipes, I mean, you can add beans and stuff like that there. Now, I also want to tell you that I know with his recipe that what he did, I know what he did. He seasoned the meat. So the same season that I put in there that I think, I think he added to the meat too because I added a little to my meat too and with a little chili powder to it. So I got it seasoned, Grandpa. Think you're smart, don't you? Oh, but you're not. You're not. You're not gonna get me this time. Oh no, I'm a general, a general, huh? A, a general, a who? A general. Oh oh. Ask somebody. Welcome back to the Cooking General. Now, this about I'll say about ninety percent this recipe. I kind of missed the ball of few few ingredients, but it's pretty close, pretty good. 
And I'm gonna try it out, folks, y'all. And y'all can kind of tweak it like you want to. But I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it on my next chiller video. Now, um, it looks good, and it's good with crackers. I put my cheese in there. You can see it's thick, it's hearty. Nice tomatoes in it, cheese. Mmm. You heard something? Somebody in the kitchen. Come on, y'all. Come in the kitchen. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Would you like a picture with Santa? Hell no! Get out of my house! 